Hello, Cancers. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your bonus reading. We're going to see what's coming up for you. Feel free to check out my Patreon. Wow. Okay, leave those together. If you'd like bonus readings that are not posted on YouTube. One more. Something big is happening. Wow. Okay. I'm going to actually get the other two. So I don't have to do it after. Let's see what we have. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is actually a really direct message, Cancers. I feel like possibly I should just jump into it and then dissect and then uh, clarify. Because what the major message here is, is like there's some sort of a situation. The truth is about to be spoken, laying down the law, releasing um, some sort of a karma, a karmic situation, getting justice, uh, taking a good look and learning from that, and then claiming your power to go somewhere. And it looks like to return to someone, Cancer. I even see you basically tying up the loose ends and even dropping off two people or like fully cutting two people out of your life. It could be heartbreaking. It could be like somewhat heartbreaking because it's like you knew already that this would have to happen one day. It could be finally a change that you make. So first card, we have justice in the Ace of Swords. This is all about something being spoken or happening that's going to bring justice and truth and fairness um, to a situation. Could be a situation you've hung on to for a long time. You've carried this burden for a long time. Um, and, you know, with the tower below that, it could just be time. It's time now, right? And I do see that there is two other people involved here, Cancer. And I feel like this could be a mother and a wife. Um, this could be a mother and a child. I mean, that's that's the exact same thing, right? But I actually see you working things out with this person, uh, like almost moving them to their own home or to their back to their country even, or back to their mother or like their homeland. There's something like they're going back somewhere. It could be overseas. They could not really want to go back there or they could really want to go back there too. Um, it's a new beginning for this, these two people. And I see you taking your power back now. And there is something or someone in your past. Um, you may want to go back to work first or work on something from someone in your past and have a new beginning. So let's start clarifying cancer. Wow, this is amazing. This is such a direct message. Okay, here's that magician again, right? Yeah, you're really taking your power back in a situation, Cancer. It looks like it's a marital situation, to be honest. So, it's too many. One more. There we go. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> um, that's really direct. I'm so thankful for that direct message. So when it comes to the justice, to the truth being spoken, to the cutting, severing, uh, balancing, revealing, all of this, like, you know, you're finally going to get some sort of justice here. You are going to get your power back um, along with this justice. And it has to do, by the looks of it, with some sort of a very conforming contract is what I get. This is something that's like outdated in your belief system now. Uh, you could have done this when you were very young. You could have done this because of a grandparent. Even for some of you to get real specific, that grandparent could be like, you know, now you're seeing something is not right. You're like, no, no, like, my grandparent didn't know type of thing. Um, yeah, there's faded, also a faded energy coming your way. It's like a faded change, okay? King of Wands. You're definitely looking back at the past, like I said, realizing, yeah, oh my gosh, realizing the stunt in your growth that was happening. Um, but you're also realizing like why you hung on cancer. And there's something here with either young age a maturity level, not realizing you could go on your own, not feeling like you're powerful enough to, just feeling like it was all a dream. And this is what was kind of keeping you stuck there. Just thinking, oh, that's a dream. I'm never going to be able to have that. There's something that you wanted. Now, it could be a person. It could be anything at this point. But you're getting your power back. Definitely with the sun here. 
there's definitely something you wanted. And I think you couldn't stop thinking about that, um, that person or that freedom. Wow. Lovers is popping out to clarify this magician. You could be dealing with a Gemini, the two of cups, and it's another card here for this magician. You totally, you know, so this energy of opening up, this energy of speaking up, um, this energy of two people that may have just had a sexual relationship becoming committed closer, you reaching out to someone who may be, um, to be honest, I mean, in the lover's card, it looks like the female's reaching out more. And in the two of cups, the masculine energy is reaching out more. I feel like you're no longer holding back these two cards coming out. You're about to speak that truth, right? You're all about the truth right now. Cancer, that seems to be your energy. And with the Six of Cups, whoa, oh my gosh. The, the cards really are tying back to each other, but you're going to be uh, reaching out to this person and basically telling them exactly what you did, which was end a situation. Um, let's clarify that. You ended a situation, uh, Aquarian energy, the full card that's moving away from, okay, and here it is, you, you delivered them. One second, let me just see this. Like you're literally, you're not going back to that situation. Something, yeah, it's over. So we have the chariot in reverse, Cancer. We have the plot twist um, and the ten of cups. You've healed. You faced the truth about that situation. You will not be going back. And this is what, oh, wow. You're going to be telling me as well. You've closed that door. Um, you're going to be going back to someone and saying, Hey, guess what? I did it. I let them go. I released it. I went to, or, or like everything is finalized here. Um, you're going to say, I, I let go of that wish. I separated from that person. What's behind here. Yep. I sent them off with, you know, even with love type of thing. Like I sent them off um, to have a fresh start on their own for them to follow their own dreams. And I'm not going back with the chariot card and the hermit. But like this one says it all. I'm not going back. So cancer. What else? Do we need to know something here? Because this is like heavy. The justice and this uh, ten of pentacles, the hierophant, please. Really claiming your power back in a situation. Um, this is something you've wanted to do for some time, but you were stopping yourself. You made it, you may have not wanted to feel energy or like someone who you know is gonna like really give you something to argue about. You know what I mean? Um, even that hangman, you may have been really debating, like, do I want to speak up to this energy? You could have been dealing with an it does say here uh, that Aquarian energy. Whoever it is, it's someone who's who's sharp. That's what I know. Let's ask about people because there's two people here, right? Um, so I feel like, you know, you did care about some people. Or you, there's people that you were taking care of. That's a lot of majors there. And this is part of the reason why you didn't make a move, but we need more. Who are those two people or what is that two energy for cancer? Because it looks like you're literally moving these two people. Um, could be dealing with a fire sign or could be someone you, um, you could be setting this person free on their own. Uh, it really could be that, right? It could be someone you had a sexual connection with. I mean, okay. Yeah. Someone you had a sexual connection with, I'm going to say it started off strong, you got stuck there, and then it turned into arguments, okay? That was what was happening. So it's kind of like maybe a situation that was built on passion, um, but it looks like you actually married this person, possibly. Yeah, you. in one way or another, you locked yourself into this situation here, and it looks like it was finance, financial more than anything is what I'm going to say. Very. What took you so long to leave this? I don't know. I'm just asking. Could be children, two page energies here, and also it could be how it would look to the public. 
hopefully that helps. Okay, so let's get some, uh, let's get one more actually about this Six of Cups. Who is this? We didn't even look into it, Cancers. I'm so sorry. Is this someone you pushed away in the past is what I'm getting here? And you've been dreaming about getting back together with absolutely um, throughout all your struggles. This is the person you're going back to to try and revive a situation with. This is someone. I feel you never let this person go. That could be possible. But you did let them go. <laughs> you never let them go. Like you had a stub. That you made. Um, someone here had a stubborn energy, like knowing, like that's my wish, but you actually did let this person down. Okay, Cancer. So, and it was because you were probably married here by the looks of it and secret energy and all of that, right? Maybe you've kept this person a secret. So, oh my gosh, you did keep this person a secret, but you're, you're going to be communicating. Um, King of Pentacles energy there. Hmm? You're going to be communicating with them. Okay, so let's get one more card here now for cancer. Overall energy, like this will be time message here. So we have the goddess of the moon and adjacent possibilities. So the goddess of the moon for me is a feminine energy. I'm going to actually clarify that. So you're going to be going back to work on uh, the connection with someone who is showing up as the goddess of the moon. Very interesting. This is someone who's been on your mind. I'm trying to clarify here. And also who, like I said, you walked away from. Um, I think you're going to be making many offers to this person because, because you walked away. What is that about? I almost feel like it wants to be in reverse. What is that about? The death card. So you're done with doing things the way you did. You're going, I don't know, the adjacent possibilities, like all these doors opening. I feel like with this relationship, in many different ways, for some of you, will already have moved on. But what I get is that you're the match for that person, if that's the what happened here. Interesting. Hmm. This could go on. This, this message could get quite deep. But let's just get one more. I need to know more now. Um, tell us what's up. Once you clear the past, there is going to be actually whatever. With the communication energy here, oh man, there's true love there for you. But I feel it's with the past person, Cancer. Someone you did have a wish to be with. You may have had to let go of one wish to get to another wish, Cancer. Tower, four of wands. Wow. Yeah, you had to release a blockage here, or you have to release a blockage here in order to move forward, Cancer. And I'm suggesting to do it by the end of the year. Just energy. There's clearing up and healing that has to be done. Choices that have to be made. The sooner, the better. Okay, Cancers. Did we get... Um, I don't even think we got everything. Let's do more. <laughs> Unrequited love. Personally, I feel like... You've been either giving unrequited love to someone or you've been staying in. Like, this is the thing. I think you've given someone unrequited love and you're not sure that they'll take you back because you were busy in a third party situation, possibly here, because there's a third party here. Um, they're telling you to keep an open mind, Cancers. Um, I think, you know, or if this person comes back who didn't give you love for and I do see it's important to have a conversation, a real deep conversation. Okay, let's get uh, one card from here for cancers. Let's see what you got. What a beautiful card. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe it and they will manifest physically. Huh. And is that it? That's it. Okay, cancers. Bye for now.